Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London. I'm hoping that you've enjoyed the last few videos from Supercars of London, the twin turbo fab design McLaren, which was uh, insane to chase after in Tom's BMW M3, but also the collaboration that I had with Yanni from Yanni Mize over the Friday and the Saturday, showing off his new Army Tricks Ferrari 458 Spider. And over the next few days, Maybe over the next week, he's gonna wrap his car absolutely insane and make it stand out to the absolute maximum, which um, I'm really looking forward to seeing and hopefully get some cool footage for you guys as well. And <laughs> this is a real struggle for me. If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, uh, you would have seen that I hit the gym for the first time in a long time yesterday and um, holding this video camera up and needing two hands to do it, it's... Um, my my arms are quite stiff and it was only supposed to be a warm-up yesterday I'm not going to go into too many details about the gym because you probably don't want to hear about it But there was a few uh, a few guys out there that uh, wanted to see a vlog from the gym and luckily my gym is 24 hours Which means I could probably head down there at 2 o'clock in the morning and no one would be there So I'm thinking of taking this Not the Astra This down to the gym at two o'clock in the morning one time, and um, I'll call it the early morning, the early morning workout, let's say, and um, we could uh, get some get some open roads with the Audi R8, so you guys get to hear uh, what it's like to open the uh, open the car up a little bit, and then also do a vlog from the gym and talk about uh, boring weights and things like that. If you've got any ideas on what I can do for a vlog, please let me know. I've got a list over there of things that I need to film. Thanks to you guys including McDonald's roulette, um, supercar pranks, things like that. So I'm really looking to get into as many sort of video ideas as possible. So if you've got any, please let me know. Today's video blog is going to talk about a few um, wrap options for my car. Obviously, the Iron Man Team Iron Man Audi R8 was uh, brilliant, really enjoyable, but I'm looking to do something different. Oh, my arm's killing me. Whew. Let's try and put the camera down. Let's put it on the table. Oh. And then, um, well, just gonna sit down as if I'm in school. Um, so we're talking about wraps for the Audi R8, so I'm gonna probably put a few bits and pieces up on the laptop um, and ask for your opinion on what you think. I posted something on Twitter yesterday. If you don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, my name is there. Okay, that was, that was weird sitting down and vlogging in the middle of an office. Um, and the final thing I want to talk about is some up and coming videos, but also the YouTube series that I have in mind, which I'm hoping gets to take place in October and November of um, this year, which um, is probably better than my first supercar. I really liked and really enjoyed doing my first supercar, so uh, what's coming up next for me to say that it's better? I mean, it's gonna be seriously enjoyable. So hopefully I'll be able to relay a few bits and pieces of information to do with my new YouTube series, which is coming October or November, but also the up and coming videos, um, including the first ever Supercars of London competition. But first things first, let's go down, open up the Audi, and um, I just want to sit in it because I didn't get to sit in it yesterday, apart from driving it. So I did get to sit in it. It was silly. Anyway, I want to head down to the R8 and. Uh, oh, it's bright. Fresh air, but my arm's killing me. Let's just go to the car. In we go. Oh, it's nice to get in here. And it's weird actually, because the black leather is normally piping hot when the sun's on it, but today it's um, quite cold. I don't think the sun's been on it long enough. It's only 20 past nine in the morning. Um, and as you can tell, I'm quite wide awake this morning. And the main reason to that, let me just get my phone out and uh, prepare the screen. This is a very, very exciting milestone for me. I haven't actually tweeted or done anything yet, but of course, throughout the day, I'm going to be um, tweeting about this milestone that Supercars of London have hit. If you can see it. Supercars of London have hit 50,000 followers on Instagram, which I can't thank you all enough who follow me. If you don't follow me, that's my Supercars of London 
Instagram page. So definitely check it out and see how many followers we can get. It's absolutely amazing that I've hit 50K. I think I was on about five to 6,000 in January, which um, is incredible as to think that I'd have sort of times it by 10 in the space of five to six months. And now we're in September. Are we in September? I think we're in September. I lose track of days and weeks. Well, and now months by the looks of it. The 9th of September. Oh yeah, that's right. The iPhone 6 is coming out today, which probably when this video blog goes live, vlog goes live, um, the iPhone 6 might have been launched, which is um, another exciting prospect because I do like iPhones. Anyway, going back to Instagram, 50,000 followers. I am looking to do a milestone on Instagram, but maybe on YouTube as well, and maybe we could just spread the um, Instagram celebration across to YouTube. So if you've got any ideas, any suggestions on what I should be doing for 50,000 followers on Instagram, please let me know. So before we go back into the office, I just want to talk about the wrap um, that is currently on the car, but also uh, what options we have to put on the car after this. The Iron Man theme was a really, really fun and enjoyable um, thing to do. Uh, when I bought the car, uh, it reminded me of the first Iron Man film when Tony Stark had the silver R8 with the carbon side blades. So I wanted to sort of pay homage to one of the best superheroes out there. If you've got a better superhero, please comment below as well. And um, But Iron Man for me was just sort of the pinnacle of coolness. He had an amazing house, he had an amazing fleet of cars, and then he decided to build a suit and make himself into a superhero, which um, for me is really really cool so i decided to make my audi r8 into the iron man theme and i designed the original red with the gold bonnet gold gold roof and gold back on forza motorsport and um, as soon as i built it i was like Do you know what this is really really cool uh took it to kit customs who obviously liked the idea and um pick the colours and then from there the Iron Man Audi R8 was created and it was created in perfect time for Gumball 3000. I don't think my car would have stood out that much if it was silver with carbon side blades and black wheels. Don't get me wrong, I love the silver carbon and black wheels look and there's a lot of people out there telling me that it looks better than it, this currently, this current wrap, which now that I've done the Iron Man reaction video, which was the main idea behind the Iron Man car, um, I can agree that silver, I think, looks better. Now that the gold and the red sort of story has finished, I'm looking to rewrap the car um, and reinvent it as something better, something cooler, maybe something classier. So we'll go inside and talk about some of the options that I've been thinking about on what colour to wrap my Audi R8. The sun's so bright. And I was so weak. <laughs> I thought the gym was supposed to make you strong, but no, I can't even lift my video camera. This is a bad sign. So now we're back in the office and um, in the car I told you why I'm looking to change. The red and gold was fantastic and has done its job um, perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. And now I'm going to show you some ideas that I've had or ideas that I've seen online from, um, well this one's from Tokyo. Check that out. It's LED chrome, and uh, basically when the car moves, the chrome moves, the hologram moves. It's basically a hologram wrap, which is absolutely insane. And um, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably would have seen this picture. And everyone picked blue, actually, which I was surprised about. I was expecting there to be a few people that would be keen on the LED chrome. Now, the whole inspiration behind the baby blue Audi R8 that I have in mind is this car and I'm sure a lot of people are aware that this is Justin Bieber's 458 which um, is specced absolutely beautifully I think West Coast Customs did it and is now a nice matte red I think and he crashed it um, but anyway we are looking at a color like this and Kit Customs say that it's similar to Blue Riviera Riviera 
Blue Riviera, which is Porsche. So um, we are looking at that color and also uh, inquiring about this LED chrome, which would be absolutely mental in London. Um, but if you have any suggestions, any bright colored suggestions, I do like the whites, the grays, the um, matte grays, the stealth look, the satin blacks and things like that. But I think that they've been done a lot and I want my car to still be unique, um, but also cool. So bright colors, green, orange, yellow, um, any different shade of those colors, red, the blues. I really like the blues. I got sent a nice matte blue yesterday, which um, is really nice. And I think it's a factory color, which um, I don't particularly want to do um, because that, then it wouldn't be unique because you could just go to the factory and get it. So I really want to do something cool, uh, unique, something that maybe hasn't been done before on the R8, like the Iron Man wrap, but of course keeping it um, cool and classy at the same time because I think the Iron Man split opinions. Some people liked it, some people didn't. I did like it, um, but now looking at pictures of it, I think that it's time for a change. So that's the wrap talk done, and if you have any suggestions on what colour my car should go, please let me know and um, tweet me or Instagram me, I think that's Twitter, um, and I will get back to you and we'll have a lot of fun discussing what colour to wrap my arms hurting again. And um, let's start talking about this Supercars of London competition that's going to be coming this weekend. Um, if you have seen my car, the stickers on the car, Asphalt Airborne 8 um, are on my car, and they challenged me to a lap around London in an Audi R8. This video is going to be going live this Friday and challenges you to beat me on the Asphalt 8 game. So uh, make sure that you get downloading that game and get practicing because if you win or beat me, then there's a chance that you could win some really cool prizes, including a ride in my Audi R8. And whilst we're talking about racing, I will quickly tease you before this video blog ends about the new YouTube series that's gonna be coming to Supercars of London, which I'm seriously excited about. It's to do with racing, and it's also to do with my Audi R8, and there may be um, some lessons involving teaching me how to drive properly, to drive like a race car. That's all I'm gonna be saying. Um, and there's gonna be a lot more details to come. So make sure that you subscribe. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video blog of uh, me updating you guys about what's going on with the Supercars of London YouTube channel and also what's going on with my R8 that's outside. So um, I hope to see you very, very soon. I'm gonna try and do some more video blogs this week or vlogs as um, a lot of people are telling me to say. And also this Friday for the first Supercars of London competition. So get downloading Asphalt 8 and practicing around London in the Audi R8 e-tron because that is the only bit of advice I'm going to give you because I'm competitive. Cheers, guys.